You believe in God, right? How many God do you believe? One God. Okay, that's fine. So, do you believe in Trinity? Yeah. So, can you tell me what the Trinity is? Um, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So, is the Father God? Is the Son God? Is the Holy Spirit God? Yeah. So, how many God? One God. How? <laughs> because they're all the same, yeah, different. They're not different or same? So, they're the same, they take different, um, in my But they all come into the same God. So, so you're saying they are in different forms, yeah. but they are same gods. Yeah. So if they are in different forms, are they co-equal? Yeah. But yeah. it's not really, because yeah. <laughs> is the father co-equal to the son? Yeah. No, no, because is the father independent and is the son independent? And anyway, is yeah. like how? Okay, so for example, to do something, to do something, why I mean by independent? Independent mean, meaning there's the, this being, if any being is completely independent, so he doesn't depend on anything to do anything, right? But sun does. So let's take some, you know, ne neutral point to whether what's the natural, you know, entity of the God. So how can, how, how, okay, how can we describe the God? So, according to me, God is one. According to you, God is one as well, right? So, do you believe God is all-powerful? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Do you believe God is all-knowing? Yeah. That's fine. Do you believe God is independent? I'm not sure what you mean by that. Independent meaning, God has all power. He doesn't depend on anything. Do you believe that? Yeah. That's fine. So, do you believe God is immortal? Mm -hmm. That's fine. And do you believe, like... God doesn't have any God, right? Does God have a God? Yeah, yeah. No, that's fine. So, let's check the Trinity. Alright? So, according to the Trinity, Jesus is God, right? So, first of all, we both agreed that uh, God is all-knowing. Is Jesus all-knowing? Yeah. Not really. No. no. In the Bible, Jesus says, when the disciple asking about the last hour, Jesus said, I don't know the last hour. I I don't know. No no angels knows. No human beings knows. Not the angels in the heaven knows. Only the Father knows. So who is the all-knowing? Only the Father. So Jesus is not the all-knowing. So anyone can agree that God should be all-knowing, right? So if God is not all-knowing, so he's not God. If anyone says he is the God and he claims that I am not all-knowing, so how can I say he is the God? And Jesus never claimed to be God. So let's check the next point. We both agreed uh, God is independent, right? God is independent. He doesn't depend on anything. But if we have a look on, on the Jesus, was Jesus independent? No. Because Jesus, every time Jesus asked to the Father to do something, right? Jesus asked for the permission. He said, oh my Father, why you forsaken me? In the verse, right? So, and... So in the next point, Jesus is not independent. So let's check the third point, that uh, whether Jesus or we said that God doesn't have any God, right? So according to the Trinity, Jesus is the God. Let's check whether Jesus does have a God or not. So if you check the Bible, in, there is many verses when Jesus is saying, uh, I'm going to your Father and my Father and your God and my God, meaning Jesus have a God, right? So if Jesus has God, so how a God can, a, can have a God? Do you understand? So, and God doesn't need to worship like you and me, right? But Jesus worshipped to whom? To God. So Jesus, Jesus worshipped to the, to the God. So God doesn't need to worship to anyone, right? So Jesus worshipped the God. So how... What's the conclusion we can claim that Jesus never claimed he is the God? And when he was asked who is the only true God, do you know who is the only true God according to the Jesus, not the church, not by me, not by you, what Jesus says? Um, 
the Father is the only true God. In John 17, verse 3. You can check it now. Jesus saying, the Father is the only true God. So if the Father, if Jesus said only true God, what do you mean by only? If I said there is a only American guy here, what does it mean? Meaning there is no other American guy, right? He is the only American guy. So if Jesus said the Father is the only true God, how many gods there are? Only one. And so according to the Trinity, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, three are God, right? So Father, how many person? First person. Son, second person. Third, Holy Spirit. So if Jesus said the Father is the only true God, meaning the first person of the Trinity is the only true God, so not the second and third. Jesus can say, Father and I are the only true God. But Jesus never said this. Jesus said, the Father is the only true God. So, how can you reconcile when Jesus is saying he's not the God and Jesus is saying, Father is the only true God. So, how can I subscribe this, that Jesus is the God? Is there any valid reason? Yeah, so, and... You can check it by yourself. And Jesus said, there's the worship to only one true God, right? Only the Father. Worship to the Father, only the Father, not the, not anyone. Jesus worship to the Father only. And what we say, we say there's the there's a reason we don't say Jesus is the God. We don't say this. There's a reason because Jesus never claimed as God. And from his all the actions. We never, he can't give any actions whether he can prove that, okay, this action is, is, is the, uh, is, is proof that Jesus is the God. Nothing. So that's how people make Jesus God. But Jesus never claimed to be God. That's the real Jesus. And I do believe in this Jesus, right? I think you are clear now, right? Why Jesus can't be a God, right? So, and what we believe about Jesus? We believe Jesus is a prophet. We believe he's a very special prophet. And he came to the earth from Virgin Mary. We believe in miracles, like Jesus came from the Virgin Mary. He doesn't have the Father. We do believe this, right? But the Christian's genealogy believes Jesus has the Father, right? We don't believe this. So, and we believe that Jesus came with the true message. And the message was worship to the only true God, not any human being, not the Father or this or that. And that's the believe we do have about the Jesus right and we respect the Jesus we love the Jesus if anyone doesn't believe in Jesus he can't be Muslim because the second pillar we said amang to billah meaning amang to billah malaikatihi I believe in Allah and I believe in you know the uh, angels meaning I believe in books which came to the prophet and warusuli meaning I believe all the messengers so including Jesus Moses Abraham David, Jacob, every, everyone, who, who are the prophets, well, whoever are the prophet, we say alayhi salam, meaning peace be upon him. So how do you find this? Yet? I find it, I find it very interesting. Interesting, yeah. So, and additionally, and do you understand why Jesus is not God? Do you understand this? Because Jesus never claimed. Jesus never claimed to be God. And the actions we see and that we discuss that God has to be all-powerful, God has to be independent, God has to be all-knowing. Jesus is not this, right? Jesus doesn't meet the criteria. You can check the Bible, the verse I said. And what else we believe? We believe, that's the reason we believe there is no Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. We believe one, only one God. The gods of Jesus, we believe in this God. The gods of Jesus, to whom he prayed, we prayed to this God. Not any human being we pray. We, doesn't, we don't pray any human being. We prayed only to the God. To the creator of the Jesus, creator of us, creator of me, creator of you. Everyone's creator is one, right? We believe in this. And there is a complication why the, there is a difference between the Christianity and Islam, today's Christianity and Islam, because Christianity makes something which didn't exist in their history, right? Because the earliest Christian didn't believe Jesus as God. Now the the Nicene Council of Church came and they made the Jesus, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. The three person of the divinity of the three person was not in the history of the Christianity. So that has been changed, right? And the Quran the, and, and the Bible has been changed many times. For example, Catholic Bible is different than Protestant Bible, right? So you, you, you will never find any Quran 
which has difference between between two Quran. You will never find any Quran which has some difference with other Quran. We don't have the, we don't have these issues. So we do believe there is only one God who doesn't have father, mother, son, or daughter, or anything. And the amazing thing is, look at the what Islam says about the God, right? We believe, we accept, we both agree, like. God is one, God is independent, God doesn't have the father, mother, or son, or anything, and God is not comparable with anything. That's the exactly what Allah says in the Quran. Look, this is the Quran, and this is the bar, chapter 1 and 2. There is 114 chapter. This oh, is, so it's not books, it's chapters. Yeah, oh, it's, cool. it's a books, but with chapter. 114 chapter, yeah? So it's which called surah in, uh, in Arabic. So look, what Allah says in the Quran about himself, right? Who is God? He's saying, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, Qul huwa Allah huwa ahad. I'm saying in Arabic, this is English. Say, he is God who is one. You see? Yeah. No, no complication, right? The Father, Son, Holy Spirit, or these or that, yeah? yeah? Then what he says? Allahu Samad. God, the eternal refuge. He, de he is independent. He doesn't depend on anyone. And then why he said? Lam yalid wa lam yulad. He neither begets nor is born. You see? And then, walam yakullahu kufuan ahad. Nor is this to him any equivalent. So there is nothing equivalent to the God. Does it make sense to you? Yeah. yeah. So, and we do believe this, this God sends the messenger, right? And then the question will be why God should send the messenger. For example, if I say God send the books, so you can say God send God can send the book without messenger. So why we need messenger? So for example, if I give you a book and say you need to get A grade, but you don't have any teacher, it will be injustice to you, right? So what is justice? Like you have the teacher, best teacher, and you have best books. So then if I say you should get the A grade, it's justice to you, right? So you can say okay, I should get right now. I have the teacher, I have the book. So God send the messenger as the teacher. Like the Jesus, Moses, Abraham, Ismail, all of them were the messenger. And we do believe Prophet Muhammad is the last and the final messenger. How it looks to you. Yeah. All right. So if you, you believe in one God, right? You believe in one God. That's clear. So you, you don't believe Jesus is the son of God or God, right? I guess. Um, because obviously it's difficult to change your mind. No, no. I, I do understand. I but you can ask your own intellect, right? The, the reason I said why I don't believe Jesus is God because yeah. you can't find Jesus claimed as God. Yeah. If I say 5 plus 5 equal to 8, you will not believe it because you can check in calculator there's 5 plus 5 equal to 10. So when Jesus is, Jesus never said he is the God, so why should I make it God? Why should I make him God? I guess it's more so that. Um like says in the Bible, he's the son of God. Yeah, so that's very interesting. That's a very interesting point. So when he, when we are saying he's the son of God, what does it mean? Does it mean he's the biological son? No. Because God God didn't come to have physical intercourse with any women, right? We don't believe this. You don't believe this as well. So what does it mean then? Look at the Abraham, what it says, the son of God. Look about the Moses, what Bible says, son of God. Look about the uh, Jesus, what it says, son of God. Look, up, look about the Ishmael, what it says, son of God. Look about the Lut, what it says, son of God. So how can we conclude that so we can con conclude this? The Bible used the son of God term for the prophets. You understand? So we say Jesus is a prophet. You understand this? But he, no Christian said that, okay, uh, you know, Moses is the begotten son and prophet, uh, sorry, son or son or this or that. But when it comes to Jesus, they're saying he's the son. So what does it mean then? It doesn't mean the adopted son. No, God doesn't adopt. It doesn't mean the biological son. God doesn't have the biological son, right? So what it means then? It means the prophet. Because all of the son, when it, it the same word used for the others, like the Abraham, Ishmael, David, Jacob, Luke, all, then what we say? Okay, they are the prophets, right? And like the others, we say the Son of God, meaning the prophet. Mm. Are you clear? Yeah. So that's the reason we say Jesus is not the God. Mm. And Jesus is not the Son of God, literal Son of God. It's not the literal Son of God. Maybe it's, it's used for like the other's prophet, right? So all of the prophets called as Son of God in the Bible. Yeah. So like, like this, right? So if you believe, uh, do you believe in Prophet Muhammad? Yeah, so let me tell you about something Prophet Muhammad, right? 
So Prophet Muhammad was the last and the final messenger. How do you know that, right? For example, if you come with the same T-shirt, it's written Adidas, right? And you come two days ago in this in Whitechapel and give some leaflet about Adidas, right? And three days later, or five days later, someone come with same T-shirt with Adidas and same leaflet of Adidas. So how? What can I conclude? I can conclude there's the you and the other boy or girl, they are from same company, Adidas, because they have the same t-shirt, they have the same leaflet, right? So then we can confirm this, that they are from same company. Look at the message of the prophets. Look at what Moses said to his people. That's uh, worship one true God, right? What Jesus, what Abraham said, worship only one God. What J David said, worship one God. What Lut said, worship one God. What, what, what the others prophets said, worship one God. What Jesus said, pray to the Father, only the Father, the God, right? What the Prophet Muhammad says, La ilaha illallah, there's the pray only to the only one God, not the any human being. You understand? So then, for, from the message, you can see this. The, but the amazingly, the amazing thing is that Prophet, Prophet, uh, Muhammad never met with Prophet Jesus. There is no way to say, okay, maybe they know each other. No. They came with 500 years later, so they never meet each other. But how come they have the same message? Because they came from the same God. Do you understand this? Prophet Jesus never met Prophet Abraham. So how could they have the same message? Because they came from the same God. Yeah. Prophet Moses never met Prophet Abraham. How could they have the same message? Prophet Abraham never met Prophet Noor. So how could all of them have same message? Because they came from same God. Do you understand? So that's the reason we say the Prophet Muhammad is the last and the final messenger. So does it make sense to you? So if you believe in one God, you, what what you do believe, right? And if you believe Jesus is the Prophet, right? It makes sense, right? He's a special Prophet from the God, right? With the true book, we believe that. If you believe Jesus is a Prophet, if you believe Prophet Muhammad is a Prophet, uh, do, do you believe that? I believe. Yeah, I believe Muhammad is a prophet. Okay, that's fine. So if you believe Muhammad is a prophet, Muhammad peace be upon him, is the prophet. If we believe God is one, there is no partner, there is nothing like the Father, Son, or this Holy Spirit, like, like this kind of stuff. If we do, do believe there is only one God, real God, not the fake God, you know? And if you believe Prophet Muhammad is the last and the final messenger, you, you are Muslim, you know? Your, your belief is the belief of Muslim. So Christian doesn't believe that. Or other religion doesn't believe that. Only Islam believes this. And if you declare it in Arabic, you can become Muslim. Do you think that... Um, oh, I had a question. Yeah, sure. Um, do you think that... Um, from a Muslim's perspective... So from a Christian, from at least my perspective, I think that you go to heaven believe in any of the Abrahamic religions. What do you, um, believe? Okay, that, that's a good question. Or, um, that's a good question. That's a good question. For example, uh, when you are in class 5, if you give the exam in class 5 and you write accordingly in class 5, so you can get the pass, right? But if you are in, if you are in class 10 and you write the answer in class 5, can you pass the exam? Do you understand? Like exams, yeah. yeah, it's different exam. So yes, we do believe Jesus was right and his religion was right, but it was it was corrupted. When the new prophet comes or messenger comes, when the previous message has been corrupted or when the pre pre previous message misunderstood by the people, oh, you understand? So do you understand this? Yeah, so some changes. For example, for example. Muhammad came in time when people, you know, people take, if someone gets the uh, baby girl, they kill her, you know, and people worship the cow, people worship to the stone, people worship this or that, and the teaching of the, you know, Jesus was, you know, some kind of contradictory and uh, co makes some complication. For example, today's today's Christianity. There is many sect, many things, these are that, right? So when new messenger come with new message, so previous message 
was okay, but it will be added to something. Yeah, and Allah said about it that if I give something, so it will be better from previous one, or it will be I'll I'll send a similar one. Meaning, you have to follow the similar one. For example, today's prime minister is Rishi Sunak. So if there is an exam and someone says who is the prime minister, so if you write the Boris Johnson, yeah, he was the previous prime minister, but answer will be wrong. But he was still was the prime minister. That's right. You were right that he was prime minister. But for right now, if you write he. Rishi Shunak was not the Prime Minister, though it will be wrong. Yeah. Do you understand this? I see what you mean, so it's like um, following the latest, the last. Exactly, exactly. Do you understand? Yeah. So if you believe in Prophet Muhammad, you are not rejecting the Jesus. Like if you say Rishi Shunak is the Prime Minister, you are not rejecting previous Prime Minister. Yeah, you are accepting the Prime Minister, but you are saying right now Rishi Shunak is the Prime Minister. Do you understand? Or previously was Queen, now, now King. So if you say he is the king of the UK, you are not rejecting the queen, yeah. you still love the queen or you still believe in queen or you still know queen was best. But what you are saying, he is the king, meaning you are accepting him, right? So if you, if you accept the Prophet Muhammad and if you believe the Prophet Muhammad, you are not rejecting the Jesus or any other prophet. You are accepting all. Even the amazing thing is Islam is Islam accepts all the prophets. Christianity doesn't accept Prophet Muhammad. Judaism doesn't accept Muhammad or yeah Jesus, yeah. But only the Islam is accepting, making the correlation between the older Prophet. What Islam says? La mirusuli, meaning we don't make any differentiate between the prophets. All the prophets are equal. We respect all of them as prophet. Do you understand? And we say Amang to Billah. We say we believe in Allah. Wa kutubihi umalaikati. We believe in angel. Wa kutubihi. We believe in the Kitab, meaning the prophets came with the books, like the Jesus, Moses, Abraham. So we believe in all the books. And if someone says, I don't believe, he can't be Muslim. We believe not only the prophet, their books as well, their teachings as well, their morality as well, everything. For example, we get the Qurbani a few days later, yeah, with their Eid. So it, it, the tradition of the Qurbani came from the prophet Abraham. Still, we are, we are practicing it, you see? Kurbani. Kurbani means the we sacrifice uh, uh, the cow, you know, cow and this or that. traditional, yeah. So Islamic tradition. So why I'm saying we are not rejecting any of the prophets to accepting the G, uh, Prophet Muhammad. We are accepting all the prophets. The, yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, with um, Christianity, you know how in Christianity how it's changed over the years. So there's like gotten rid of, not gotten rid of, different sects of Christianity yes. and stopped following certain things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, oh, that doesn't align with our like, culture. Exactly, yeah. Then, the, um, Islam doesn't really take bits out like that. No, 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 no. no, no then no. how does that um, work? How does it kind of jive with the culture? So that I don't okay, really that's, a, that's a good question. So, first of all, the Islam, Allah says, Meaning, Allah said, I give the all the, you know, I have completed my baraka, rahmah, and I, I have completed the guidance for the human being. So, for example, if I give you, let's say you are going to the Romania in a, in a, con, in a country and in a certain area. So, if I give you the plane ticket of the Romania, if I give you the bus ticket of the Romania, if I give you the address of the Roman, Romania, if I give, give you the maps of the Romanian maps, if I give you everything, do you need anything else to reach there? No, because I gave everything. So, Allah said, He gives everything in the Quran to lead a human life, to lead a better life. So, if you have everything, so you don't need to change. Do you understand? So, and from from that day, from till first day of the Islam, until today, Quran never changed. And you will never find two different Quran. Never ever. Do you, um, to get to, um, I don't know what you guys call it, but the good place like heaven or yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. where you want to go. Um, do you guys, so with Christianity, a big thing is that you believe in like love and the yes. loving God and believing in God is what gets you there, not your actions. Your actions are just almost like just another thing that you do to show that you believe in loving God. 
Um, how is that the same or is that different? Yeah, there is a bit difference. So what's the bit difference? Let me tell you. First of all, we believe in love, lovely God. We believe in loving God. And we believe uh, that God is most loving and the most merciful. But what's the difference between the Christianity and Islam? We believe this, the, yes, we are responsible for our action as well. If we believe in God, if we, if we follow his guidance, we'll get the paradise. But if we, if we disobey him, we'll get the punishment. If we, if we don't get the mercy from him. But what you can do, for example, someone commit the sin. So what can he do? He can say, well, Allah, forgive me. And there's the, Allah said he's, he's a ghafoor, he's a ghaffar. So there is a, many attributes of the God. One is many, uh, you know, asma'ul husna, meaning nice name. So one is ghaffar, meaning he's merciful. He can, he can forgive your sin anytime. Yeah? So when you say, Ya yeah, Allah, forgive me, He will forgive you. Allah says, I will accept your dua. Dua meaning prayer. But in the Christianity, why we have, what the Christians have, Christians says that Jesus died for our sins, so whatever we do, we'll go to the paradise. It is very unjust. Let me tell you how. How? For example, someone raped a six years old girl, right? A baby girl. But he believes in Jesus, right? These rapists believe in Jesus. According to the Christianity, he'll go to the paradise. Not facing any charge. Is it justice? I think, in my head, I think it just shows how much love God has. No, no. Then why about the child who was abused and killed? So, isn't God the lovely and merciful to this child? Yeah, so if he is merciful to this child, what, what's the best thing to do? To give the punishment to, to, to the uh, man who raped her, right? That's the justice. So if you go to the court and if the judge is only loving, not the justice, not just having the justice, so all murderers which will go out. There will be no justice, there will be the chaos. So that's the reason our God, yeah, we say any sin will be forgiven. Just ask the forgiveness. Not like the Christianity, you are auto forgiven. No, and you are. Uh, Christianity, um, Jesus died for our sins, but we still. Let me tell you. Yeah, let me tell you how. Let me tell you why it doesn't work. For example, if I, if my father kills someone, should I go to the jail? He should have a trial. So? He should have a trial and then. Exactly. So he should be responsible for his sin. So, was Jesus sinner? No. Did Jesus commit anything wrong? No. Did Jesus have anything bad on his character? No. So why Jesus should give your his life for your sin? Does it make sense? I guess it's circular. Yeah, so as, as I said, we, we just make the distinguish that it's not possible to have Son of God or, or the God. So it's not possible. So when it's not possible to have the Son of God or, or the God, so it's disputed. Do you understand this? Yeah, so so it's very unjust that's that he, is, he didn't commit any sin and he's, he was killed by the Creator. So how a Creator is loving when he is killing his own son? Do you understand? Yeah. So that's what we say. That's, we say our God is most merciful. We, we believe all of our God is one, but maybe you are describing, uh, Christians are de describing in different way. But we say our God is merciful, most merciful, and Allah said He's Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim. He's most merciful. He said uh, He's most forgiven, like Ghaffar, Ghafur, you know, there's many attributes of the God. So we believe in this God. So if you believe, uh, how, how it looks, looks to you? How this looks, how yeah, yeah. Looks Yeah, he's also forgiving, but we don't have the idea that I'm auto forgiven. So if I if I have the idea that whatever I do I'm forgiven, then it's it seems like I'll do any crime because I am saying I am auto forgiven. But in Islam we are not auto forgiven. We're saying if you commit the crime, if you commit the sin, you have to seek forgiveness to the God. You are not auto forgiven. And then you forgive. Yes. But then in Christianity same because we're not also we're not also given in that sense. I think you've missed the point. We're not not everyone has ever relates everyone. For example, let me tell you something. 
For example, according to the Christianity, someone is rapist, someone is murderer, and he never asks for forgiveness, but he still believes in Jesus, he believes in the Trinity. Will he go to the paradise? Well, on Judgment Day, will, will he go to the paradise? Europe, and then he'll go to paradise he, yeah. Will he go to the paradise? Yeah. Will he go to the hell? No. no. Because he's auto forgiven in the Christianity. Do you understand this? But in Islam, you are not auto forgiven because it will be very unjust to the, for example, you murder someone, but you are auto forgiven. Okay. So it will be unjust to the, to the person who are victim, right? So on your last day on earth, you basically have to pray to Allah and ask for exactly. forgiveness. Yeah, and, and the five so times. If you because everyone has sin and we sin every moment of every day basically so if I get hit by a car and die then I'm not forgiven so everything I accidentally, you know, all that stuff. No, 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 not like so, this, not like this, not like this. So there is some incident, there is some incident, you don't have the control over it, right? For example, it says, if you have the uh, stomach pain and you died for it, Allah forgive every sin of you. That's it. You see? Because you, your death was panic. You know, and uh, there is a hadith that says, this, uh, for the pain of the death, forgive the sin of the of the of people of who believes in God, who believe in the true God. Do you oh, understand? So, if you, so then if you have pain in death? There, there's many circumstances. Some people have pain, some people haven't. So there's many circumstances. And even if you have the stomach pain, if you have the migraine, it will, uh, you know, it will uh, you know, remove your sin because you will, you will get the suffer. Yeah, from the suffer, you'll get the forgiveness. So if there, why the basic thing is the difference between Islam and Christianity is the concept of God, not by the suffer or this or that. Yeah, concept of God because uh, the having Jesus as God doesn't make sense, as you as you understand, right? And being being the Son doesn't make sense as well. So if you accept the Prophet Muhammad, if you accept the Quran, you are not rejecting Jesus. Even you are not rejecting any teaching of the Jesus. For example, how Jesus prayed. Jesus bow down in the earth by the knees and he's taking his uh, forehead on, on, on the on the on the you know ground did you, does christian pray like this no today's christian doesn't do this who does muslim you see so we are we are following every single things what jesus said and what jesus did so that's a, yeah so that's the reason we said we believe in all the prophets you know so if you accept the Prophet Muhammad, you are not rejecting Jesus. Many people say, okay, if I accept Muhammad, peace be upon him, so maybe I am rejecting Jesus, I'm rejecting the Jesus teaching. No, you are still accepting the Jesus teaching and you are accepting Prophet Muhammad as well. Does it make sense to you? Yeah, thank you. So if you believe in God, one God, whatever, you do believe already, right? If you believe in one God and if you believe in Prophet Muhammad, if you believe Jesus as a prophet, so you are Muslim. You know? If you, if you declare it in Arabic, if you take the shahada, whatever you said, we agreed. If you declare it in Arabic, you can, you can become Muslim. You understand? Do you want to take the shahada? Um, no, as in just because I am. Um, no, why I'm saying? Yeah, why I'm saying? But it's, it's. You know, when you when you see. It's bad. Yeah. It's bad. When when you when you see when you see the truth, you should accept it, right? Exactly. Because if I say five plus five equal to twelve, you say no, no, come on, come on. 5 plus 5 equals 10, why you are saying 12, right? So if you see anything which makes sense to you, and if you see the truth, you should accept it. The devil will come and say, no, 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 don't accept it. Imagine you die today. So you know the truth, but you didn't accept. In that time, you died. We don't have, we don't have any control over death. Do you have? No, we don't have. We don't have any control over death. We don't have any control of, over what will happen to us. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's the best thing. And when people accept, when you accept this, when you accept Islam, what will happen? In the according to the Islam, if you accept Islam, you like a newborn baby. You don't have any sin. Your all sin will be forgiven, right? And you already believe it already, right? If you believe in one God, you believe in Jesus, you believe in Prophet Muhammad, you believe them as prophet. You don't believe they are God. So, just say it in Arabic, you can become Muslim, inshallah. Yeah? Um, I feel like it's really interesting to know, and I'm really glad that I spoke to you today about it, because I've learned a lot. Um, but I don't think it's as much as like 5 plus 5 equals 8, I think it's more like saying this person isn't real. What? Like, it's, it's a much more part, like, 
same generation and doing stuff like that it's much yeah. more hard. No, what I'm that. saying, what I'm saying, will you subscribe to your fundamentals belief yeah. in a in in something not true? You, you you cannot you cannot subscribe to it, right? So you can check the Bible, whatever I said, right? Jesus never claimed to be God, so why should he believe Jesus as God, right? You can check the Bible, you can check the everything, right? You can check what, whatever we say. Yeah. So, if you, it makes sense to you, it makes sense to you that, that Jesus is not the God and the Prophet Muhammad is the Prophet, they are the Prophets. It makes sense to you and it makes sense all the things we said. And if you believe, if you believe it already, I do understand, it's not a, you know, just like I'm saying and you are accepting, it's not like this. But it's from your heart, you accept it, right? So if you, if you didn't accept, I will not, I don't have any rights to push you or you don't have any rights to push me for anything. But why I'm saying, this, uh, it's an opportunity. You can, you can take it, yeah, because it's accepting the truth. You know this is the truth. Then you are just accepting, yeah? So if, you, if, you, if you're comfortable, you can take the Shahada, inshallah, and then step by step you will learn. I'm not saying you, you should learn right now, you should learn everything. No. So if you can take the Shahada, this is the first step to accept the Jesus, Moses, Abraham, Ishmael, Jacob, David, Prophet Muhammad, all of the prophets, and that they are gods, one God. And you can pray directly to the God. You don't need to pray to some church or this or that. You can pray directly to the God. We have the direct Muslims. If you accept the Islam, you have the direct connection with the God, not with any human being, not with any single, right? So you believe already about the God. You believe the Prophet Muhammad. So if you believe already, you just believe, and if you declare it in Arabic, you just say it in Arabic, you can become Muslim, inshallah. I'd like to take the Quran. Yeah, yeah, so, you take it, take your yeah. Quran, you can, you can take it, you can take it, and... Oh, they will, what is Yeah, so these are the, oh, cool. yeah, about uh, uh, Jesus, Moses, so... Right. How it looks, if you, if you agree, so you can take the Shahada. Um, I won't today, because I don't feel comfortable. What? I won't today, because I don't feel comfortable with it. Just, I just, All right, so... So that, that's well, fine. There's, you. Have you, well, there's, that's very nice to nice to speak with you. So while while say, uh, read the Quran, yeah, as you take. Inshallah, you will read it, and ask to Allah, ask to the true God, the yeah, God, all God, give me the right path, yeah. And Inshallah, you will be you will be okay. Inshallah, you have very good very good mind. You have very fresh mind. Yeah, yeah. Alhamdulillah, and you know. Like, what are you guys doing today? Who are you? Oh. <laughs> Who are you guys? <laughs> <laughs> I am I'm Muslim, right? Uh, this is my first uh, introduction. I'm Muslim, and I do have my job. I do have my own job, but we are giving the Quran hmm. to are to the from, to the people. The, um, Islam Mosque. This one, yeah. Yeah, we, we came from Islam Mosque. Oh, cool. We do have the connection with them, yeah. but we are separate. Oh, we nice. do the da'wah. We give. Uh, we have discussion with the people. Oh. We have uh, you know civil discussion like I do have with you. So that's the thing we do. Can I just your guys' name? Yeah, your sure. Uh, I don't, your organization's name? Uh, it's IAP, but my name's Nazmul. Yeah, IAP, yeah. Cool. Islam Awareness Project. What's the A? Look. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, if you, if you think it's... Uh, if you think Islam makes sense, already you said Islam makes sense. So, you, you know what? I, 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 I feel like you should accept Islam. <laughs> I, um, I, I'm going to think about it, but I'm going to, um, because obviously cause I was not Christian and I became Christian and I know how yeah, big it is, not big, big changed. Um, it changes your but life th That means you have the very, very good mind and you have very open-minded, right? You can accept the truth. So you know the truth, right? So what the next step? You should accept it. You understand it? Yeah. yeah. So you can you can you can take shahada, then you can learn step by step. I'm not saying you, you need to learn everything right now. No, of course. No, I get what you mean. Yeah. Um, but thank you for this. Really no, cool. no problem. So if you okay, think you it makes sense to you, and if you want to take the shahada, yeah. we are here to every Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Oh, cool. Yeah, in in the, this time at uh, afternoon yeah. so you can come and inshallah we'll, we'll take you can take the shahada inshallah oh, thank you. yeah all right thank all right you. take care of yourself of yourself um, it's nice to speak to you it's really nice to speak to you as no well. problem this is a bit of an awkward point i just wanted to mention before i left is <laughs> i noticed you guys are filming and that's really cool um but i do a job where i can't really be on film oh that's fine that's fine we can so block. if you guys could it's, that, yeah really that's helpful. fine no problem thank you so no much problem. no problem really no problem at all yeah take care don't worry about it thank you for the conversation as well it's really interesting and it's
like very yeah, that's very interesting. Yeah, mind opening. That's what I yeah, may, may Allah accept it, and may Allah accept you and me. May Allah accept you, and inshallah, you'll be you'll be Muslim very soon. Inshallah, yeah. I prefer. It's this random off question. So is the whole Quran? You know, it's like whole the Quran. Bible? This is like the Quran. This is all the Quran. Quran. This is a really yeah. dumb question. Yeah, well. but uh, <laughs> just to show you, it's the small font, yeah. so it contains all the uh, one oh one hundred fourteen chapter. Oh, so we have we have the big Quran. If you want, do, yeah, do you want? Right. I can't take your big Quran. Oh my God. Like like no, this, <laughs> this, like a book, like general book. Like a proper like a proper book. Like yeah. All the other like um, the Jewish one, the Christian one, like how would they all? Yeah. Yeah, this Quran contains everything. The Quran is same, but it is the small, small, small uh, print, you know. Also, very, another really random question. These are things I can Google. I'm really sorry. <laughs> in the Quran, do you have? So you know how um, in Judaism they believe in the Old Testament, and in Christianity we have Old and New Testament, and then you do you include you include part of the old testament like christianity but then no. you, you don't at no, all? No, no. oh i completely i've all my life i thought you guys included part of it no 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 there's there's the, there's the uniqueness of the quran yeah. so quran doesn't come from the you know injil or the mm. bible or anything like this yeah. quran it has the unique things for example bible the what the language jesus spoke in aramic bible came in aramic right so we don't have the aramic bible so we don't have the, any original Bible at all. So we, the oldest Bible we found in Greek. But what's the Quranic language? Muhammad, peace be upon him, was speak. He, he was speaking in Arabic. His disciples speaks in Arabic. He they wrote the Quran in Arabic, and we still found the Quran in Arabic. There is no change. No change like the Bible or the Old Testament or New Testament because like Old Testament many, that's many writers. Like yeah. So yeah, that, that has been changed many times. But why are you not accepting Islam? You, you understand everything, <laughs> you know? I think it's, it's really cool and I'm going to think about it. Um, yeah. It's just, you know, it's difficult to do something. And then, because, you know, if you like think about it, and then you're like, oh, maybe I don't know. So I'm going to journey. I do understand. So yeah. have some reading, yeah, have, have your own research. And think about it, Thank yeah. You. yeah it's really uh, cool. Look into it, and yeah. inshallah, let me give you. There you go. Bro, do you have any uh, books about the Prophet Muhammad? Just check it, yeah. If you can come with me, yeah, I can, really. I can give, yeah. Gone, gone. Yeah, it's gone. Sorry, we have, uh, <laughs> All right. So, sorry. do you have times if you if you come tomorrow or day after tomorrow? Or I'll next week? Pass. I live if you, around here, so I'll give you email address, we... or, or you can give the email address uh, so we can pass it. What time do you start here? Uh, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow you can come at two, 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 two or three. After two, until when? Until like this time. Oh, uh, okay. Or five, six. I'm going to pass here at some point on the weekend. This weekend I'm working every day, but I'll definitely come to here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's cool. that's fine. Yeah, it's... I live right by uh, that mosque as well. Anyway. That's fine. So he'll, he'll, he'll come to mosque very soon, inshallah. <laughs> <laughs> he'll come to mosque very soon. Uh, if you give your email address, there's a ladies' corner. Ladies, oh. they're teaching uh, about Islam uh, before and after. Those they want to embrace Islam, they can learn before. You can join there, yeah. Yes, yeah, so oh, you can join. Cool. The, it's, it's called the sisters' corner, yeah. yeah. So all 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 our them are sisters, so there is no brother there. So, so you can you can hang can around with with the with the sisters as well, right? Oh, thank you for that. I'll check that out. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. All right. Cool. So it's it's I very nice to speak with you. Yeah. Nice yeah. You guys too. Thank yeah. You. No problem at all. Take care of yourself. May Allah guide you. I mean, take care. Bye. Alhamdulillah, uh, salatu wassalamu ala rasulullah. We have a discussion with this uh, sister. So she was very open-minded and she wasn't Christian before, but she converted to Christianity. And right now uh, we have discussion about the Tawheed, oneness of God, and the concept of God in Islam and the concept of God in Christianity. And she embraces uh, the concept of God in Islam. It makes sense to her. And the uh, prophethood of Prophet Muhammad and other, other prophets, it makes sense to her as well. Uh, Alhamdulillah, she agreed with everything what we believe, but uh, she's just taking some time to take the shahada. Hopefully, we'll see this sister as Muslim, inshallah, very soon. We gave the Quran and some other materials. We invited her to our sister's corner to come and join with them as well. 
So may Allah guide her, may Allah, may Allah accept our good deeds, and may Allah guide all of us. Jazakallah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.